slopes in this game have some weird effects. Notably that they'll slow you down a lot on upslopes. This is why, including on cylinder levels, you want to try to have all of your like movement and momentum being perpendicular to the slope. So like on tracks like Cylinder Wave, Port Town Long Pipe, Cylinder Knot, you want to have you want to always be like perpendicular to the track to minimize speed loss from uh, the slopes. And on extreme down slopes, it's that also is true. You don't want to be going at a uh, low angle or a sharp angle like that. Low angles aren't so bad, but it's still a thing. Another thing to no note is how uh, slopes like this affect your MT point. Uh, namely that it uh, lowers it. An upward slope will lower your MT point, so... Or will uh, raise your MT point, sorry. So you'll want to let go of A even if you're going at a... Like, fuck, what is it? I'm messing up words in my head here, but... Okay, I understand where phrasing this. The, the... Upward slopes lower your MT points, so even if you're going, like, slow, like, slower, like, uh, Fat Jerk's top speed... If it's a sharp upslope, you'll want to let go of A on it. That's somewhat true of the uh, slopes on this track, except they're not sharp enough to make it terribly significant. But one thing to note is that you can MTS on slopes like this. Like, uh, I think it has to do with the vehicle being like tilted, so it's like 40 at a 45-ish degree angle. So you're at the same, like, angle compared to the road as you are to the, like, the angle of the vehicle. An example of a upslope where, uh, you really want to let go of A is the 90 degree angle ones that you'll see on uh, Aerodive, Multiplex, and I think that might be it. Those are the only two ones. Multiplex has two of them, but... Yeah, like, you always want to let go of the A button there on that part of the, because uh, the way MT works on slopes, it'll lower your MT point by a huge amount. So even if I'm going like normal top speed here, you don't want to MT that, because you'll lose more speed if you're holding A. And uh, the opposite is also true of the corollary, that on down slopes your MT point would be uh, raised, so like on um, double branches at the end of the track there's a you're on the outside of a half loop and I always hold A after the boost on that like the entire time I don't empty at all um, other examples of a downslope like that would be on well, loop cross has a minor one at the end Uh, Port Town at, I guess, yeah, I guess he'll be going for a shift boost, uh, at the end of lap one, but also at the, uh, during the, uh, before the dive on Aero Dive, there's, like, the boost plates. You can just, uh, on lap one, you could probably just hold A after those. It's, uh, I don't know. It's a lot shallower, but it could still probably benefit. But it's mainly like let, uh, letting go of A on upslopes that's very important. 
holding A on down slopes probably doesn't save as much time in comparison, but it's still, you know, you still, sh it does save time.